this is Backtrack 4 version R2 in VMware. This is for the unknown error 132 for for um this utility, the RTL8187 um, wireless module. Uh, let me show what you what's going on. I'm going to have all, all the commands. I'm using from Backtrack and I'll provide that in the bottom description. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, IW config to figure out my wireless interface and that's if config WLAN 0 up we get this unknown error and well let's see what's going on. DM ESG that's what Backtrack, uh, the Backtrack website is telling us to type in TAC20 and uh, the wireless radio switch is turned off. That's not good. Uh, let's see what the RF kill is doing. We're going to list the hard and soft block and the hard block. So we know it's the RF kill, which, you know, of course, radio frequency. And that's the radio is being turned off. So we're going to remove it. R mode RTL8187. We want to, you know, unload it. And then we want to uh, RF kill block all. RF kill on block all. Mode probe uh, RTL8187. Alright, kill on block all. Oh, I probably use this more than once sometime because uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, if config WN0 up. If this uh, usually takes a while, remember the WN0 is my interface which I found with the IW config command. If this takes a while, then yeah, we're loaded. So RF kill. Uh, list and then you can see the hard block is on no and we can check the other one as well DMESG uh, tail tac 20 that's space tac 20 by the way and then there you go there's no register new interface driver RTL 8187 and no no beam nothing's being blocked that's good so now we're able to go on the internet. So let's start the network. Uh, etc. Init. D. Uh, networking. Start. This will look for all the interfaces and then put them in the um, uh, the I, I, WICD manager. And this is actually kind of nice, but I don't like this way using it all the time to start the network to figure out the interface because, well, it just takes too long. The, the, the other way that I like to use is uh, start dash uh, network. And that's the only command I use. I'll show you right now after this is done. Well, you know, I'll just pause right here. And that's why I don't use it because it takes way too long. The other command, once the uh, the interfaces are found, I just every single time I want to start the network, I just use start network, not network start. That you know that doesn't work. And then I go to the internet, and then I go to the WICD from the K menu. And if and if you still get no wireless internet found, uh, go to preferences, and in preferences, the wireless internet faces. If it didn't load for some odd reason, like mine didn't, just put your interface in there. Select OK. If if sometimes if if you're not able if you're not able to refresh and you know still nothing scanned, uh, like like mine did right now, uh, you can actually reload reload um WICD manager 
itc init dot d wicd restart so you don't have to you know shut down and reload it again by by rebooting backtrack so then you're 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 able to you know let it scan now because you put the because you put the interface in the preferences of the wireless uh, interface too too much anyways uh, that's how you get on the internet once once you have it then you can connect to one remember to click on on properties and then put the key in there put and make sure if it's passphrase uh, WPA or if it's a passphrase for uh, WEP um, again the website will be in the YouTube bottom description of the video of this video um, it used to be on the, on, on the on the side but I guess uh, Google just decided to put it on the bottom now so you know you can't figure out YouTube then uh, you're on your own but anyways this is this right here is to to load the drivers it says right here to manually load the drivers uh, unload the drivers then this is to unload it this is up here is to load the drivers this is to manually load the drivers that and then this is to load all the Mac 8211 stack and then it, it tells you the the thing the error and then the command that I just did right there and then it then see it tells you what's being turned off and then this is this right here is what I just did to un make the RF kill and block it so I want to be on block and and if you want to load the other drivers load the R818 old drivers the old ones then uh, you know good luck with you I'm not gonna do it because this way works for me but if if you get the the failed then uh, backtrack pretty much says you're screwed well anyways uh, steal my videos you know what to do I'm tired I'm probably gonna go to bed and hopefully you know be somewhere more educated <laughs> maybe right well anyways you guys have a good one and I'll catch you some other time in my next video which I'll probably make another video pretty soon about another operating system of Linux which I tend to like and I think you might was you might like to well anyways this is cure my mind and I'm saying go screw yourself